My name is Margaret Lewison, language uh, specialist in the Fort Good Hope, uh, chief to Silly School, teaching the students the, the, the language and the culture, and it's mostly based on the language. And uh, for the culture, we have a teepee outside that the students go out during the summertime teaching uh, hand-on things like craft work, fixing nets, fish nets, and all that, etc. fixing stuff. Teaching K to nine. I guess uh, it's important for me because I was brought up, I was taught nothing but my language and my culture, and I'd like to carry that on to the new generation because most of them, parents, can't speak the language. So I like to carry that on, with the, especially with the elementaries. It is very important for me. For me, as, as a teacher, I'll rate them ab uh, quite well, above average. Some that don't speak, they're more like kids. They have done very well, and they even left the community. I got good comments back from their parents. They said they're still learning their colors and their numbers, which made me very proud. <laughs> I should say all the, most of the elementary and the seniors, because we like to go out and do hand-on things. We had one elder come in, teach them how to set snares, just behind the school, out in the bush, how to set snares. We don't use the wire ones, we use the string that they used long time ago. So that was a little different for them because it's set up differently. But they're all amazed and their eyes pop out, like, you know, the string flies up with the string, so. It was a little different for them, which was really good. For the seniors, we're doing a lot of, uh, they're doing a lot of craft work too. They did mitts one time, they did some uh, small duffels, which they were really into. The craft work we do, there's a lot of uh, naming the, the materials, like the needle, what kind of materials you use like moose hide, airway, and all those, you still could label them. The one that I really want to aim is get the community involved and even take the students out for a week out in the land. Like, just stay out there and just teach the kids just culture and the language. Don't speak English, just Bring the elders there. We have quite a few elders that can just talk. They don't use English. So that is my aim. I'm trying to look at that. To me, it's just like um, getting the youth, get the youth and the elementaries, the newborn babies into the language and the culture while they're young. But the, for now, it's just like a new generation. Everything is just high-tech things like TV, radios, and all that. Be nice to get all that out and just concentrate on their, their language. Start talking to them when they're small. Teach them things like cooking and sewing and but now it's too, they're growing up too fast. But I guess we can't help it, but try. Just try. And I would try. I'm even doing that for my grandchildren. But nowadays they're asking for iPods and all that, but I would say no. <laughs> but yeah, that's my aim anyway. For 10 years down the line, God willing, if we're still alive, our 
grandchildren and other kids will pick something up and continue. There are lots of youth, teenagers that they, they can still carry it on. Just got to find a few of them, a handful of them, and just tell them to keep going, carry it on. It's like carrying a torch, run with it and teach everybody. Teach one another as much as you can. But don't give up. Never give up on the culture and the language. Mm -hmm.